Centuries ago, there was a poor Nambudiri Brahmin in a village in Trishur district in Kerala. He had six daughters. He always worried about bringing them up and getting them married. One day, he decided to go to the town and ask for money from the king and rich landlords. The king and a few landlords gave him money and helped. He put the money in his purse and hung it on his waist. Soon it was noon and he was hungry. He saw a temple and went to get some food there. Seeing a hungry Brahmin, the priest offered a meal, but insisted that he had a bath in the nearby pond before lunch. The Nambudiri went to the pond. He saw a cow grazing there. He kept his purse by the pond and dived in. After quickly finishing his bath, he came out to see the purse missing. He was shocked and rushed to the temple and inquired people there. No one had seen the purse. He sat for lunch but was unable to eat even a morsel. He was very disappointed. Many months passed. His situation at home became worse. He decided to go to the town once again and seek help. It was late evening when he reached the town. He decided to meet the king and the landlords the next day and went straight to the same temple. The priest by then had closed the temple, but he was happy to meet the Nambudiri again and offered to take him to his house for dinner. The priest and his wife gave a warm welcome to Nambudiri. During dinner, the two discussed their problems. The priest said he was sad since he had no children after many years of marriage. While Nambudiri narrated how he lost his purse several months ago near the pond. The priest's wife was listening to the conversation and rushed inside to bring a purse to Nambudiri. Sir, is this the purse you're talking about? She asked. Yes, exactly the same. The Nambudiri could not contain his joy. Where did you find this? He asked. A few months ago, when I had gone to the pond to fetch water, I saw a cow grazing. I wanted some cow dung, so went near the cow to collect it. When I gathered, I saw a purse lying beneath. I brought it home, washed it and kept it safely in my wooden chest. I was confident that one day the owner would come for it. The Nambudiri was so happy to notice the money was intact. He immediately offered half the money in the purse to the couple. The lady said, No, sir, I will not take a single coin from the purse. I preserved it for almost a year. If I had my eye on it, I could have taken the full amount. It is all yours. I would be happy if you would bless me, she added. The Nambudiri put both his hands on the lady and said, You will be blessed with a son who will earn you name and fame. His words came true. The following year, the lady gave birth to a son. He was named Kunjan Nambiar. He became the most famous folk art Otandullal performer and poet Kerala has ever witnessed.